Hello friends, welcome to EntranceAdvisor.com. Today, we will discuss about the chloroquine and hydroxychloroquine for the COVID-19 coronavirus treatment, its use, its MOA and its side effects. Before that, if you are new to my channel, then please hit the bell icon and do subscribe to my channel. So let's begin. Nowadays, the million dollar question is, what is the treatment? available for the COVID-19 or the novel coronavirus disease. Is there any vaccines available? Multiple countries are trying to develop multiple vaccines and multiple drugs. The countries include the following USA, UK, Germany, China, Korea, Thailand. The hydroxychloroquine or the chloroquine drug is a potent anti-malarial drug. It is used to treat certain autoimmune disease such as lupus, rheumatoid arthritis, etc. It is also capable of inhibiting several intracellular microorganisms, including the coronavirus. What is the mode of action? It has severally two functions. Important function is antiviral mode of action and anti-inflammatory mode of action which have a role in treating the patients of novel coronavirus. So let's start. Let's look in the property called the antiviral property or the mode of action. Previous experimental studies have demonstrated that the chloroquine or the hydroxychloroquine has a potent anti-SARS-CoV-1 effects in vitro, which is primarily attributable to a deficit in the glycosylation on the receptor as you can see at the virus cell surface so that it cannot bind to the angiotensin converting enzyme type 2 which is expressed in the heart, lung, kidney and intestine. Since SARS-CoV-2 also utilizes or uses the similar or the same receptor uh, can also interfere with the ACE2 or the angiotensin converting enzyme 2 receptor and the glycosylation SARS-CoV-2 attachment. It interferes with and blocks the attachment. So in this way, it prevents the coronavirus infections. In addition to hydroxychloroquine, also inhibits the quinone reductase. As you can see, quinone reductase 2, which is involved in the sialic acid biosynthesis. The sialic acid is an acidic monosaccharide of the cell transmembrane protein, which is required for the ligand recognition. The sialic acid linked to the glycoproteins and ganglioside is used by many viruses as a receptor for the cell entry. Okay, The virus use it as a receptor to the entry into the cell. So by inhibiting the sialic acid biosynthesis, it acts as a broad spectrum antiviral agent. Coming to the next one, moreover, the cathepsin inhibition occurs. The chloroquine or the hydroxychloroquine changes the pH of the lysosome, okay? And likely inhibits the cathepsin. What is cathepsin? Cathepsins are the proteases found in all animals as well as other organisms that leads to the formation of the autophagosome, which cleaves the SARS-CoV-2 proteins present in the spike. I have said earlier that the spike protein is responsible for the infection. As we know, the spike proteins are the important protein molecules present on the viral cell surface outside the capsule which help the virus to enter into the human cells, okay? Furthermore, this chloroquine or the hydroxychloroquine through the inhibition of the MAP kinase in this here, you can see through the inhibition of the MAP kinase interferes with the SARS-CoV-2 cross-talking. In this picture, as you can clearly see this, okay, the cross-talking is inhibited or interfered by the chloroquine or the hydroxychloroquine drug. Coming to the property known as basic, both chloroquine and hydroxychloroquine acts as a weak base, okay. So you can see it has. 
smaller in size and it is larger in size little bit and this is the blood retinal barrier some data source HCQ or the hydroxychloroquine is effectively inhibit the transport or entry of the or the post entry stage of the SARS-CoV-2 similar to the chloroquine. Here you can see the weak base can uh, that changes the pH of the endosome or the lysosome and then which is essential for the membrane fusion. Here it is the blood retinal barrier. Here the question is which one we should prefer the CQ or HCQ which is less harmful to us of our uh, to our body the HCQ or the hydroxychloroquine is less permeable you can see to the large size it is less permeable to the blood retinal barrier because of the extra hydroxyl molecule it is the name associated with it is hydroxychloroquine so as you can clearly see that hydroxyl group is present so the retinal toxicity is comparatively less in HCQ for the the narrow therapeutic safety index margin here with the chloroquine makes the uh, and HCQ makes uh, HCQ the or the hydroxychloroquine a safer option than the chloroquine it's more safer okay now coming to the anti-inflammatory property or the mode of action increased amount of inflammation of the cytokines in the general circulation which is associated with the disease severity of the SARS-CoV-2 infection hydroxychloroquine significantly decreases the production of the pro-inflammatory markers and the cytokines inside the body the, in the general circulation so the HCQ it is very much effective in the disease control in the severity of the disease in the reduction of the severity of the disease nevertheless based on the limited available evidence to date and given the prevailing the pandemic of the COVID-19 some institutions and organizations have already recognized the utility of the chloroquine and the hydroxychloroquine as you can see here in this data provided here the several in vitro studies report antiviral activity of the chloroquine and the hydroxychloroquine against the SARS-CoV-2 at present there is insufficient in vitro evidence to recommend their use for the current pandemic outside of the clinical trials further high quality studies are urgently needed to provide the guidance to the clinicians and policy makers Although there are various precautions uh, need to be monitorized such as the hemolytic parameter, serum electrolysis, blood sugar, obviously the hypoglycemic or the prolonged QTC. Several contradictions are also present such as uh, these drugs causes the hypersensitivity, retinopathy, porphyria, epilepsy, pre-existing maculopathy, G6PD deficiency and recent myocardial infections. Although evidence is limited but considering the potent beneficial balance of hydroxychloroquine or the chloroquine in absence of any other drug that or the value treatment uh, is a good option. It's the only option you can say. We believe the such treatment must be useful in the current context. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Until then, take care and goodbye.